Hello. So, my first attempt at making homemade beef jerky. Actually, that's a lie because I used to make it a long time ago, years ago when my kids were little. And I did have a dehydrator, but it was one of those round ones. And anyway, so that was years and years ago. So fast forward 35 years. This is my first time trying it with my new dehydrator. And I've always used hamburger, just the extra lean hamburger. This time I am using the sirloin tip roast. So when I went grocery shopping this morning, I had them and I've got a couple of them, but I'm gonna try one, you have to marinate it overnight. So I had them slice them really thin for me. And I'm not gonna use that one because it has the fat on the back. Oh, that is really thin. So I think you just kind of slice them. It might even be easier to use my scissors my kitchen scissors and cut. That seems like a pretty good piece for beef jerky, right? I don't know if that's easier. No, nope, it's not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, this is pretty slick. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice up my meat into like little pieces and put them all in my dish so that they can marinate overnight. So I'm gonna fast forward and I'll go back and slice all of those and put them into my bowl. I'm gonna make the sauce. So with my recipe that I found, and I kind of researched it a little bit and I love um, the soy sauce. I love the, the flavor of, uh, I don't know how everybody says it, Worcestershire sauce, whisker sauce, whatever they wanna call it. But I found today it's called Paradise Pineapple Teriyaki. And I thought that might be really fun to try in my beef jerky. So we're gonna go ahead and go with two tablespoons of soy sauce. So we're gonna do, there's one, there's two, and I am not a perfectionist cooker, just baker, whatever, dehydrator, I'm just, I like just kinda of, kinda of put it in. Okay, so let's put the two tablespoons of When my kids were little, they used to call this whisker sauce. So, and we're gonna put in the Paradise Pineapple Teriyaki. So I did mix it up a little bit. Ooh, and it has the, you can see the little seeds in it. So we're gonna put a couple of these good size tablespoons in there. Oh, it's smelling already so yummy. And we're gonna put, um, two tablespoons of brown sugar. So ah, that's good enough. There's one. I don't want to put my spoon into my brown sugar and get it all contaminated. So there's two there. Okay, it's starting to look really and juicy. It doesn't look like a lot of liquid. Okay, so we need one tablespoon of teaspoon of pepper. We need some, and I'm going to add some liquid smoke. It does not ask for liquid smoke, but I don't think you can ever go wrong without having a little bit of, I'm going to put one teaspoon of liquid smoke in there and crushed red pepper. So it asks for a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And that's in the beef jerky where you get all the little seeds and stuff from. I used to get grossed that by the like, I'm not eating those. Okay. And you have to use kosher salt and ask for two teaspoons of kosher salt. So we're gonna go, there's one, two. And it's just, it's a little bit thicker. It's just, it's just better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. And then I'm gonna start adding my beef strips to it. So as soon as I get this whole bowl full, I'm gonna cover it and marinate overnight and we'll see what happens then.